Hey, welcome Peter to the Smart Energy Lab. Yeah, my pleasure. <laughs> well, be... as you saw, it was pretty easy getting this up on the wall, um, but we got to the point of doing all the hardware installation. What comes next? So the next part is the uh, Wi-Fi configuration, uh, which is also very simple and straightforward. Uh, as you can see, when you open the box, you get a manual like this and also a box. And on the box, it has a QR code. And what you need to do is to use your phone to scan this QR code and it will bring you straight to the commissioning, commissioning app. Hang on, let me have a look at this. So I don't need to try and get around the back of the, the dongle. I can actually just use the code on exactly. the front of the box. They're actually identical. That's such a good idea. And I noticed yep. there were some little stickers in the in the packet too. So I could always put the sticker on the side of the inverter exactly. if I wanted to. Exactly, make it easier. Yeah. So course. the QR codes um, can be, go anywhere. Yes. So what happens? You scan the QR code, what happens next? So once you scan the QR code, it will bring you uh, to an app store to prompt you to download the uh, Canadian Solar app. And you just need to open the app, register an account, and uh, follow the prompts. Is it iOS and Android? Yes, both support it. Great. And w do you know the name of the app? Uh, it's called a CSI Cloud uh, for the end user and the CSI Cloud Pro, which is for the installer. Oh, I see. So the Pro app is for the installer. Yes. Uh, and and the, the Cloud, just without the Pro on it, is just for the customer to monitor their own system. Exactly right. And they use the same QR codes for both. Uh, the QR code actually prompts for the uh, Pro app. Uh, customer just need to go to the App Store and search CSR Cloud, and it will show them the right app. All oh, right. Okay. That's so easy. So, what can the installer do with that code? Uh, so, once the installer scan the code uh, after they download the uh, Pro app, in the app, uh, not only they can see all the installation they've done uh, in their app. Obviously, they can monitor the uh, system yield. Uh, stream voltage, stream current, and what's cool about the app is it can help you to build up a company structure. Uh, once you register the app, you become the master of the account, and in your account, you can actually set up a few branches. Uh, for example, you have 10 installers working for you. You can then assign 10 individual accounts, and uh, let's say uh, installer number one did 10 systems, and all those 10 systems will automatically be under your supervision. So it's like a tree uh, branch structure. But for the installation process, can the installer do things like set the grid protection code? Yes, they can do that. Okay, or the grid protection settings, sorry. Yeah. Um, and if there's any variations required by the utility, can they make those changes? Uh, obviously, um, as far as I know, uh, the volt var and the volt watt uh, requirements are becoming uh, mandatory. So uh, according to each distributor's requirement, you can easily change uh, the grid parameters by logging in the local mode. Uh, which is a very powerful tool. You don't need to uh, connect to Wi-Fi. You just basically scan the code and you can access the local mode and change the parameters in there. Ah, so local mode doesn't require the customer to have a wireless network. No, you, you not at all. You phone directly to, um, what do we refer to this as? Uh, you can call it data logger. The data logger. So from the app on your phone directly to the data logger, you can set up um, the grid settings. Exactly. Uh, can you do export limiting? Of course, uh, but in order to do export limiting, you need to insert additional CT or smart meter, and then everything can be done from the Canadian Solar Pro app. Right, okay, yeah, well, we noted that there was a port here for a CT. Yeah, so that's, that's an it. extra item uh, should you need it for export limiting. Yes, that's correct. That's great. Well, <laughs> I must admit this was a very easy inverter to install. I mean, it was so quick, we, we had, apart from running the DC and AC cables yeah. to this point, it probably took a minute, you know, to screw the bracket to the exactly. wall, hang it on and plug it in. And the programming, I watched you do it, um, probably the registration part might take a little while because you've got a password yeah, and that's email. Right. Correct. And then it's, it's next, next, next. Exactly. It will yeah. take you less than five minutes to connect to your Wi-Fi. Excellent. Well, thanks a lot, Peter. Yeah, a pleasure.